I'm Corey Bryant. I am the International Public Health and Trade Manager with the Center for Food Safety and Applied Nutrition at the Food and Drug Administration. I grew up on a, on a farm and the growing of food, the providing of food to people has always been sort of a, a factor in my life. When I was 13 years old, I went to sheep shearing school at Purdue University and as soon as I stepped foot on that campus at that, at that age, I knew that's where I wanted to go to school. I didn't know that I wanted to be a food scientist and in fact at that time I'd never even heard of it. My current job revolves around food coming from other countries. We hear about globalization all the time, and it is a major factor for the food supply because more and more food is being uh, shipped all over the world and traded between countries. So it's our responsibility to set the policy and write the regulations and enforce the regulations that will make sure that the food coming into the U.S. is safe. When Corey comes to the table when we have a public health and trade meeting or working with another country on a specific issue, what he brings to the table is that food science background to be able to understand the issues, to be able to move the issue and discussion along. On any given day, I can be headed out to the airport to go to China for a week to carry out the duties of the FDA there. Um, we, you know, my team and I might be dealing with a new uh, food additive regulation coming out of the EU. We might be dealing with a new uh, regulation to control um, salmonella and listeria monocytogenes coming out of Kenya. When he's talking to other countries about an issue, there's always a diplomacy avenue um, coming into play as well. It's not always easy to have. You have to have the charisma, and Corey has that. I'm a food scientist, and diplomacy is not something that we took in school, um, but it is very much a part of my everyday existence now. Without that insight into the actual science behind what's being regulated, and is this really justifiable, and is there you know, a better approach to this, um, we don't really have a way to respond to foreign governments. So having that role as a government person like Corey is very valuable. It's essential that Corey has this food science training, as is the case in New Zealand where food science uh, degrees and, and expertise is becoming increasingly valuable around the world. It can play a huge role to actually have those feet and faces on the ground to um, make sure that our responses are appropriate. So that's kind of why I point to the value of having a food scientist like Corey involved in the process. We've made tremendous strides in public health. And, uh, and the United States does have one of the safest, if not the safest food supply in the world. That's not by accident. And at the end of the day, that brings me a lot of satisfaction uh, to know that I've contributed to that, hopefully in some, in some small way. I'm just one piece of this, of this um, big machine that includes the industry, consumer groups, organizations like IFT, and the government. He also gives 150%, so <laughs> I, can, I can believe that when he puts his head on the pillow, he can feel like it's a job well done. And it's people just like Corey and the folks within FDA and the U.S. government that really help to protect the U.S. food supply. What I do now, it really, it feels good because it has this, uh, it has this holistic global effect. That feels good. It, it feels worthwhile.